The police has identified the gunman who attacked a free speech debate and uh, at a Copenhagen synagogue last Sunday. Meanwhile, Egyptian President uh, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi vowed to use force against ISIS. Christine Domingo will tell us why. In Libya, the Islamic State released a video on Sunday purporting to show the beheading of a group of Egyptian Christians kidnapped in Libya. Violence likely to deepen Cairo's concerns over security threats for militants thriving in the neighboring country's chaos. In the video, militants in black marched the captives dressed in orange jumpsuits to a beach that the group said was near Tripoli. They were forced down on their knees, then were beheaded. Egypt's state news agency MENA quoted the spokesman for the Coptic Church as confirming that 21 Egyptian Christians believed to be held by Islamic State were dead. The Egyptian president Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said on Sunday that Cairo would choose the necessary means and timing to avenge the killings. In Denmark, the alleged perpetrator in two shooting attacks in Copenhagen this weekend has been identified as a 22-year-old man born in Denmark and is known to have connection with criminal gangs. The Danish Security and Intelligence Agency said on Sunday that it had prior knowledge of the alleged perpetrator. The man was shot dead early Sunday as he opened fire on police officers hours after two people were killed and five wounded in twin shootings in the Danish capital. The first attack occurred on Saturday afternoon at a Copenhagen cafe where Swedish cartoonist Lars Vilks was attending a free speech forum. A man was killed and three police officers were wounded. Hours later, the man began firing on officers at a Copenhagen synagogue. A young Jewish man was shot dead and two police officers were shot in the arm and leg. The police said they suspect that the intended target of the first shooting was Vilks, who has aroused anger in religious circles with a drawing depicting the Prophet Muhammad as a dog. Five weeks ago it happened in Paris. You know that it can happen here as well because we have these uh, Muhammad drawers uh, which uh, cause a lot of commotion in the Middle East. You never anticipate that it will happen here in Copenhagen. I mean Copenhagen is a peaceful place and uh, now we have it on, upon us like this. Christine Domingo reporting for Y News.